Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I know you clicked this video because you're like, oh, miso soup, I love miso soup. And this is probably what you probably did. You went to a restaurant and you're like, oh, this is so good, I'm gonna make it at home. So what did you do? You bought miso soup, right? And then you added some hot water, you boiled it, you put a miso soup in there, and then you drank it and you said, chocolate blue, what is that? That's not miso soup. I don't even know how to make it. I thought I just added hot water. Well, I am here to rescue you because me, I am a Japanese person, and that means my ancestors made miso soup, and I know the right way to make it. Actually, who really taught me was my grandma, and she is a pretty ancient old lady. Rest in peace, I love you, grandma. And my grandma was actually a very horrible cook, and then she passed down these skills to me. And even though I was a horrible cook, I went online and I learned the right way from many other cultures that aren't Japanese. <laughs> what I would like to do is teach you my own very recipe that is mother approved, that is auntie approved, that is everybody approved, because if they didn't like it, they would just wouldn't tell me anyway, so I wouldn't even know because they love me so much and they're super polite. You try it at home, you make what I make, you're gonna fall in love, and if you don't, you didn't pay for anything, so you can't sue me. So just like you guys, we don't have any of the ingredients that we need. We only have the miso, and I never bought this brand of miso before. Um, I moved to Vegas, and it's my first time out here trying to search for a Japanese market. I found a few, I guess, uh, but Korean markets work too because they use a lot of the very same ingredients and products that we use in Japanese cooking. The only difference is is the love behind a Korean grandma or a Japanese grandma. The Korean grandma is gonna lecture you and beat your ass up, and a Japanese grandma won't even say anything, but she'll still beat your ass if you get a bad grade. And that's the difference between the two cultures. We need to go to the stall. We're here at the Korean castle. Hannah's here, cause she's gonna hold the camera for me. Let's go. So as I was getting ingredients from my cook-off, this dude shows up and says, Hi, Hi. Tyler. Tyler, that's been watching JK Films for yeah. how many years? Oh, since the beginning. Since like you were a child? Middle school, it's like 2012, 2013. Good to meet you, bro. Since Uncle Sam. Uncle, Uncle Sam, Sam, Uncle Chin. Uncle Chin gets jacked. And as I was shopping, this dude shows what up. up. Hello. You know the vibes. I love JK. Woo! Hey, subscribe. You know subscribe, the subscribe, yes. Always, always. How long always. have you been watching JK for? Man, I don't even remember. Probably uh, since, you know, obviously, you know, Uncle like Sam, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Always. Long time fans. And Long how are you, how old are you guys now then? Shoot. If you're like, I'm 23. Too so long. I watched it when I was probably like 13. Dang. Like 12, 13. Inappropriately teaching kids. Oh, no. That's my yeah. style. Yeah, I love it. Hey, that, that's how I am right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I always yeah. say cuss words and shit, so. It is what it is. You made nice. me though. Okay. You made me. I love you, man. Thank you so much. All right. Now let's continue this journey of trying to get some produce. So I don't know the name of these, but we call them mountain potatoes. And what we're making today is pork miso soup. So we're going to need some of these. Let's say five of them. Five of those. Put her to work. Working in the field. Now I would usually get shiitake, but theirs look not so good compared to ours. Mushroom King Farm represent. Gotta grab one of these daikon radishes. All right, I gotta get myself one of these seaweeds. I don't know which one, but I'm gonna get one. So what we're actually gonna make is this. It's dashi, but this is like the ready-made soup stock. Um, it's made with bonita and all that, but it has MSG and stuff. So I ain't about to play that with your body. And this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make it with straight from the source. We're gonna boil one of these bags. This is this is bonita skin. Cool, they actually have the miso that I usually get. So I like to get these guys right here. Um, I've tried that brand before too. So this is all good stuff. Are you ready to be my rice farmer? Sometimes it's food, rice. Yeah, let's go. You hold that rice bag. I got these. Now we're ready to go. Okay, so we went shopping, and now these are the ingredients. Uh, what am I missing? Oh yeah, green onion. Look at my garden. Beautiful. All right, but look at my green onions though. Come over here. I don't even know what to do with such a monster. 
I think one is good enough. Um, and his fish flakes. First, I like to get it in these individual packs because it stays fresh. First, we are gonna make what's called dashi. We get this right here, it's called ka katsuobushi. But I like to say katsuobushi. Look at this. Come here and look at how nice this is. Look at these guys dancing. Oh, it's like Japanese Christmas and it's snowing fish skins. Just ignore the dirty skillet. Next, it's the Korean seaweed. And Japanese sea, Korean sea, they share the same sea and it meets in the middle. No borderlines. BTS and anime, people like both. Oh yeah, that's a sexy ASMR snap. Do that right by the camera. <laughs> These are Joe Jitsukawa's testicles. Japanese mountain balls. Look at that, it's furry too. I got pubic hair all over. Some people say you should wash your vegetables. But for me, if I'm gonna peel the outer layer anyway like that, why? Taking out all the dirt and peeling it off instead of washing it. You see that? Yeah, to be honest, if I'm just cooking for myself, I never wash it. <laughs> and there we go. Can it? You cut in that piece. Oh. We're not gonna use this whole thing, but this is daikon. A lot of peeling going around here. You should do it like with a knife, like the old school way. Like this? Not with that knife, that's big. Yeah. No. I know how to do it like that. Though. I don't like it's... it, it makes me nervous. Yeah, my mom's really good at peeling things with just a knife. Peelings, nothing more than peelings. Do not do at home. This man is a fool. Those are big juicy chunks. This is called negi. Negi. And this one is tamane. Tamaneki. Tama is bald. <laughs> I bet. Hope you don't mind big chunks of onion. I don't mind big chunks of anything. Ooh. This one is direct from our farm in Lompoc, California. Mushroom King Farm, baby. Now, we saw earlier some really shitty quality shiitake. This is actually three days old. And look at how beautiful they are. Look Ooh. at this. This is so beautiful. Look at this. Oh. They're still curved at the edges. Yep. You see that? Now that is how you know it's a good piece of shiitake. You wanna see that curve. When it's opened up, like as it progresses, it opens up like this. And if it opens up completely, no. No. No, it's, it's not the delicious. It's still edible, but not the delicious. Some of them, you're gonna keep them whole like this. That's how like, this is how they like it in Japan. Oh. Small, like that, and whole. In America, they like the big pieces, because then the vegans now be eating them in hamburgers and stuff. Yeah, I used to do that. Yeah. I'm gonna save the big pieces because I'm gonna stir fry with those. So all of you plant-based people at home, maybe you don't wanna use fish for your broth. What you can do is you can use the seaweed and you can use shiitake mushrooms because these are very strong. It's very pungent. And you can put that inside and make your broth with shiitake. Look at this beautiful, 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 beautiful stock. You see that? People wouldn't recommend this. The fish skin, everything they would take out. I like to leave it in, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna show you because I don't like to waste food. So what I would do is I would get all these things so I could mix the seaweed with the fish skins. I would chop it all up, mix it with rice, put like mm -hmm. an egg in it put some soy sauce, and that's that. I'm gonna throw it away. No! Ooh. So skillful, so skillful. I legit thought you were gonna fuck that up. Now, the pork. What people might do is boil this first, and then do an initial boil, and then like skim off the stuff, the fat, and then like throw this back in, but me, I like my soup extremely strong and dirty. So, I'm just gonna throw this straight in, guys. You gotta say thank you to the pig. Thank you, Porky Pig. 
Now we put in all the vegetables, all of it. We put it here, we put it here, we put it here, we put it here, and we put it here. Ta-da, my bitches! I forgot this, the mountain potato. Potatoes, when you boil them, they break down. So I like big chunks, but I also don't want it too massive, you know? But I don't want them to fucking disappear. You're supposed to watch this when I went away. I was distracted. I was watching drag queens. Okay, well, this was overflowing. <laughs> My bad. You still love me. I have no choice. I regret putting the pork belly. I should have boiled it first and then threw away all the, the fat pieces. And then I'm trying to clean it up to make it look aesthetic. We're going to make some bacon and mushroom. Oh, so good. Okay, first we're gonna start with the bacon, pork belly. Oh, I like the sound. Sizzle, sizzle, whizzle, whizzle. This is when you know you have too much grease in the pan. This thing's flying all over the place. Oh, dear Lord. Okay, we're gonna go wa ba ba. Here we go. Mushroom. There's not much room here. Gotta keep the art of moving. Oh man, shit. Not good. <laughs> so good. Yeah, man. Keep going. Oh, that's a lot more, Royal. Trust me. We're gonna need it. Just add it. Some onion. Green onion. Neggy. 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 Oh, can you smell it now? Yeah. Um, pepper bay. Eight out of ten? Yeah. Mmm. That's amazing. Gotta try it with the bacon. Mmm. I love mushrooms. You're going crazy. Mm hmm I'm only with you for the mushroom bomb. <laughs> now we're gonna add some konyaku. You might be seeing this around Whole Foods these days, but they do this like in noodle form. <laughs> And that looks gross because it is. Oh, that's barely any space for the tofu. tofu. So now we're gonna put in the miso. We want to put this at the very end. When you do pork miso soup, dark miso is better anyway. But look at that. Oh my god, I don't want to destroy that, so I'm gonna just do it like this and cut the fire because it's still gonna keep the soup nice and warm, you know. Look at that rich darkness. It's actually good because when I make pork miso soup, I like to use the darker miso. There's lighter miso and then there's darker ones. Last thing. I couldn't fit the tofu, so I did it at the end. But I'm gonna try to get everything. So it's like we got some, oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh la la, magic. Time to try. I just wanna try Oh my goodness, it's the best. I'm not even tooting my own horn, but toot, 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 toot. This is very different from miso soup you get in restaurants though. This is like a- That's right, this is my version of hooked up miso soup. I think this is better than any miso soup I've ever had in any restaurant. It's like I didn't give you any measurements. You don't know how this is supposed to taste like, but I guarantee you, this is probably gonna be the best miso soup you've ever had in your whole entire life if you make it this way. What do you think? 10 out of 10? 9.5. Mm. You always gotta leave room. I'll take that. You always gotta leave room. Thank you guys for joining us on this episode of Mada Hungry. If you want me to cook something else or you're curious about whatever, leave in the comments below and I'll tempt my very best to try to make that. But without further ado, I'm gonna just, I'm just trying to find the word to wrap it up. Go away. Bye, I love you. Welcome to Costco. Thank you very much. Bye. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Chuck E. Chuck E. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Chuck E. Chuck E. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Birthday. Chuck E. Cheese. Birthday. Chuck E. Chuck E. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Chuck E. Chuck E. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Birthday.
Chuggy jeans. We had no.